Hello YouTube, BrickBlaze here once again with an update slash review slash update. Uh, let you guys know a couple things that are going on. Uh, so first off, obviously, here's the update from the previous video. As you can see, this set was complete. Not only was it complete, it even had all the extra pieces, uh, the little ones that LEGO throws in, which was rather impressive for everything just being in a Ziploc baggie. <laughs> Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely worth my five dollars. Uh, I did some research on eBay, found the cheapest one there is running about nine dollars. Uh, had no bids at the time, and then they go on up to uh, fifty-five dollars for a sealed one. And I've seen some people asking for thirty bucks for you know opened and complete ones. Uh, so definitely worth my five dollars. Uh, so I would like to just uh, do a little quick mini review of the set. Uh, this thing is really awesome. Uh, this came out at a time when uh, I was not, uh, you know, buying Lego like I do now. Um, however, I really like the build on this. I enjoy the way that they used the, you know, radar dish pieces to make it look like the joints on the legs. You know, I like those. Those are the little uh, signs that people, uh, minifigs, hold in their hand, like little stop signs and things like that. Um, thought that was kind of cool how they used them to make it look like it's hydraulics on the legs. Uh, all in all, just really impressed. Uh, this came out of time before they got so many specialized pieces like they do now. Um, so this was a, a rather ingenious build, I think. Uh, and pretty impressive. I, I really like this one. And I, again, it was definitely worth my $5. Uh, so then the other thing that I would like to update you guys about is, uh, you know, in a previous video I talked about... Uh, I was going to be doing flea market mocks where I'm going to challenge myself and randomly, you know, build something out of the random assortment of pieces that I would pick up when I go to flea markets and toy shows and stuff. Unfortunately, that has to be put on pause for a bit. Uh, during our move, all my things that I had uh, separated so I knew that they came from separate trips, uh, everything kind of got jumbled together. And so... Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until my next toy show and or flea market trip, whichever may happen first, uh, and due to the weather starting to get a little colder here, that may not happen until next summer. But that's all right. We'll just put that on the back burner for right now because that is something I still want to do. Uh, we've still got to get unpacked. I have lots and lots of sets to build and show you guys and do different stuff. So uh, just stay tuned and things are going to happen on here. Uh, so I do apologize if anyone was looking forward to those. But, again, it's just on pause right now. It's something I still plan on doing because I think it's going to challenge me to be a better, better builder. So, um, anyway, I thank you guys very much for your time, and you all have a great day.